Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to easily trace graphic in Clo 3D. In the 3D window, I have uploaded an outfit on the male avatar. By the way, all these garments were downloaded from Connect Clo set website for free. In the 2D window toolbar, using graphic tool, I imported this letter K graphic onto the left front bodice pattern. Use transform graphic to scale the size and place the graphic in the position according to your preference. In the older version of Clo 3D, I have to use internal polygon tool to trace the graphic shape. It can take a while if it's a complicated design. With the new update version, simply click on transform graphic, right click on graphic and select trace as internal shape. Delete graphic and select Edit Pattern Tool. And you will see the internal shape has been generated on the pattern piece. I can select the internal shape, right click and choose Cut and Sew. Personally, I prefer to convert all the points to curve points, so the 2D window won't look so messy with all the points showing. By the way, the newest updated Clo 3D 2024.2 version. When you convert to curve points, you have option to choose maintain curve. This way, all the segment lines will stay in the same exact shape. Also, with this new update, you will be able to remove most of the points and leave only one point per shape. One more thing I should mention, to get a better tracing result. A single color graphic with transparent background is recommended. However, you can still give it a try first before removing the background, like the same letter K with a textured color backdrop. When I use trace as internal shape function, it still came out pretty nice and clean. After the internal shape has been created, there are few things you can do. I can select the shape, right click and clone as pattern. Use free sewing tool, Double click on the point from the pattern. Then double click the matching point on the internal shape. Select the piece in 3D window, right click and choose superimpose over and simulate. Lower particle distance and add thickness. And this is how you can make a patch on your garment. You can apply different top stitchings to the internal shape. Here is another graphic that I have imported to the 2D window. This time, I am going to scale it up and place across the entire back bodice. It's a more complicated design. Using Transform Graphic, right-click and choose Trace as Internal Shape. I can easily create the shape. Since it's a larger graphic, it will end up with hundreds of points, and this can slow down your computer so I usually will convert them to curve points like what I have shown you earlier. Also, since there are so many points and some of them might be too close to each other, you may not be able to convert all of them to curve point at a single try. Do it section by section is way to go. One more thing I like to mention when you tracing an intricate graphic shape or if you want to scale it up. Try to download a larger and higher resolution graphic. Here is the side-by-side -side comparison. You can see the when I zoom in to see the internal shape after tracing the graphic. The segment lines on lower resolution graphic are very jaggy. This might cause issues if you want to apply top stitching trims later. But again it really depends on what you are trying to make. Like this graphic on the back bodice. I'm going to use it as quilting. After converting all the points, select all the internal lines. Right click and choose cut and sew. Move the pieces to the side. Right click and choose clone layer under. Select top layer pieces and enter positive amount to the pressure in property editor and negative amount pressure to the underlayer. 
lower particle distance and select a softer material to get a better result. I have created a quilting effect for the hoodie. And the resolution of the graphic won't be an issue in this case since it's hard to see. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.